Hi Sagittarius, this is your July 3rd through July 9th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads on this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread we'll look at an existing love in a relationship or marriage. Then I'll do the X spread after that we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Sun, clarified by the Three of Cups. We have the Lovers. We have the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Two of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Eight of Wands with the, the Queen of Wands and the, the Hierophant. And we also have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Gemini, Taurus, or pretty much any zodiac sign. Uh, I'm not going to lie, uh, Sagittarius, some of you could be dealing with two different people and uh, you'll be choosing between those two. You could go out on a date with one of them, see how that goes. You could go then go out on a date with another one and see how that one goes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm saying that because we do have the lovers right there and the lovers could be a card of a choice, right? And we do have a couple of threes here, the three of cups and the three of pentacles, right? So you could be choosing between two people. But if you're not choosing between two people, if there is just one person, I think you guys will hit it off right away. You'll, you two will hit the ground running. Perhaps you already met this person, okay? Uh, you could have met them during Gemini season. Um, perhaps you met them at, the, at their birthday party. Perhaps somebody invited you to come and uh, you were like, all right, why not? Um, um, it could have been that Gemini or it could have been somebody else. Or you've got some kind of an event coming up this week. A very happy event. It could be a reunion for some of you, by the way. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's talk about this real quick. The Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. It could be a ticket to a show or a ticket to some kind of an event uh, that you're buying yourself. Or perhaps somebody will, you know, reach out to you and say, Hey, I've got this extra ticket. Would you like to join me? Would you like to come with me? And it could be a friend. You'll just go there with a friend and that's where you'll meet this person. Or it could be uh, the person that you'll be uh, getting the show on the road with this week if you already know them, right? I think the Page of Pentacles is the key, <laughs> all right? The Page of Pentacles, it could be you, you know, not just paying for a ticket, but paying for something else. Like, a, like if there is like a, a party going on, it's a potluck party and everybody is supposed to bring something to the table, it could be that right there with that Page of Pentacles, all right? We started with the Sun card, clarified by the Three of Cups. The Sun could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. It really is. It's a major arcana card, so you come in, you roll out the big guns right away, <laughs> starting with such an amazing card. With the Sun card, we always feel happy, we we'll always feel on top of the world. You know, the Three of Cups, clarifying it, uh, it's a card of a, some kind of a celebration or a reunion. So again, you could have met this person already, or perhaps that's what's coming up this week. Some kind of a celebration or a reunion. All right, and by celebration, we already talked about it. Uh, it could be a party event or what have you. Someone's birthday, I don't know. And here comes the lovers. The lovers is a Gemini card. All right, it's a Gemini major arcana card. But at the same time, you know, the lovers is a card of a choice. So like I said, some of you could be choosing between two different suitors, all right? Um, and uh, also, in my opinion, the lovers is simply the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. In my opinion, it really is. It's a soulmate card, it's a twin flame connection card, if you believe in that. And uh, the lovers could be simply the lover of your life. If this is a brand new person, you guys will immediately, instantly connect, all right? If you're dealing with just one person, this is just instant chemistry. Also, in my opinion, the only other card that comes close to the lovers in, in terms of the actual uh, love connection between two people is the Two of Cups. And you see two cards over? The Two of Cups? Clarifying the Three of Pentacles? Yep, it's also here. <laughs> the Two of Cups is also a soulmate card. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when two people see eye to eye, feel the same way towards one another. So it's definitely mutual. The Three of Pentacles that the uh, Two of Cups is clarifying. You see another three, all right? So you, for some of you, you could really be choosing between two people. But uh, for most of you, the Three of Pentacles, this is simply a group of people getting together and doing something, right? Celebrating, uh, getting together for that party for someone's birthday. Perhaps it's a group of people going to that event or a concert or something along those lines. The Three of Pentacles is also a card of building 
something together. So perhaps this is the two of you starting to build your connection together, putting putting time, energy, effort into it right away because both of you see the potential. Both of you want this. And that's why it makes total sense for both of you to put time, energy, and whatever into this. In the potential outcome, we have the Eight of Wands with the Queen of Wands and the Hierophant. You're the Queen of Wands, I think we all agree. <laughs> the Eight of Wands to the left from you. Could be a card of travel or this is the two of you moving in together. It's one of the fastest cards in the deck. So I think this connection will gain momentum real, real quick and it'll just keep on going right I think you guys will you know make it official make it formal move in together real quick okay um, and uh, my favorite interpretation of the 801 is the Cupid's Arrows card and that kind of confirms what I was just saying instant connection all right perhaps the Cupid had something to do with it the last card in the potential outcome is the car fund you could be dealing with a Taurus but it is a card of a commitment to marriage all right. It's uh, it's also a very spiritual card, educational card. All right. So yeah, I think this will take off like a rocket. If you're dealing with two people, you will choose the one you want to move forward with. Let me know who it is if you're choosing between two. Um, for others of you, if you're dealing with just one person, bam, it's gonna happen real quick, real real quick, Sagittarius. Really happy for you. Congratulations. Sagittarius, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have uh, the Ace of Cups, the Emperor, Justice, and uh, the Empress on the bottom of the deck. I don't know if you watched the first spread, the New Love spread. That one was really, really good. Really good. Um, this one is just as good or even better. Even though we only have four cards, Sagittarius. Sometimes that's all it takes. <laughs> okay? It, it is so good, I did not even want to mess with it cl by clarifying anything. And uh, yeah, the Emperor and the Empress. You've probably guessed it already. The Emperor and the Empress. Husband and wife. Um, you know, divine counterparts. You know, two people who are meant to be together. Okay? This, is, this barely ever happens when the Emperor and the Empress come out in the same spread. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the Ace of Cups, the first card I came out is also a fantastic card. The Ace of Cups is love, genuine, authentic love. Justice, right next to the deck, in this case, is a fantastic card to have. You know, could you guys could be getting married, you could be getting engaged, you could be renewing your vows, you could be... Uh, purchasing a house or purchasing an apartment, purchasing property and justice could be like the government organization or bank, all right? Um, yeah, you could be getting married. Um, you could be deciding to have children or have more children, okay? Something big, something amazing is going to happen this week. Um, yeah, three major iconic cards and the Ace of Cups. You know, and two of the major iconic kind of cards are the Emperor and the Empress. I'm just looking at this and I'm like admiring this, <laughs> Sagittarius. Let me know in the comments down below how this plays out for you. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Sagittarius, this week. Uh, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have um, the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Six of Cups. And then we have the Page of Wands, clarified by the King of Cups. We have the Four of Cups and uh, the Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You're dealing with this King of Cups right there in the middle, clarifying the Page of Wands. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Sagittarius, it's a booty call. That's all. That is all. All right? <laughs> it really is. They just want to have a little fun with you, and that's it. If you want to have some fun with this person, go ahead, Sagittarius, but uh, don't this... Don't count on this person to stick around, okay? Um, here's what I see. The Seven of Cups, the first card I came out. You see there is a silhouette of a person in the left bottom corner. I think this is them looking at line, looking online, or looking at their address book, their contact list on their phone, on their social media, and uh, they're going to come across your name. And they're going to be like, oh, yes, Sagittarius. All right, I haven't seen them in a while. Let me reach out to them. Let me see if they want to have a little fun, right? The page of wants the next card over. This is a message coming from the King of Cups. And the, the nature of the message is, hey, let's have some fun. <laughs> the Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck is a card of a cheater. It's a card of a deception. It's a card of somebody who sneaks around. The Four of Cups, right next on the deck, uh, you're most likely going to reject them because this is a rejection card. But again, up to you, however you want to handle this. Okay, Most of you will say no. 
All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Sagittarius, this week. We have uh, the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, clarified by the world, and we also have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I got a little confession to make, Sagittarius. As soon as I saw all the cards come out, the first thing that came out of my mouth was nice. All right? This really is nice. You will have a luxury of choosing. Sagittarius this week. Yep. You could be choosing between two new offers, two new job offers, two new business adventure offers, two new, if you run your own business. Uh, there could be two suppliers, two vendors, two potential business partners, two people who want to work for you. Or uh, there, if you're just dealing with one new employer or one new supplier, you know, there's going to be a bidding war <laughs> for you, Sagittarius. Perhaps you're going to bring uh, your acceptance letter to the uh, old employer and they will want to keep you okay um, you will choose one you will definitely choose one at the end we have uh, the page of swords clarified by the world the, the page of swords I think this is a message coming from you and uh, you will let one of them know that it's over okay the world is a card of an ending but it's my happy end card so if you're dealing with just uh, one new employer and you're already employed the page of swords is your resignation letter if you if you're dealing with two of them you'll tell them one of them will get, receive a, a message from you saying thank you but i'm decided i decided to go with another option one of those one of those scenarios but you do have two aces on the table those two aces represent two offers okay either two new offers or one new and one from your existing the six of pentacles right next to the ace of pentacles this is you choosing between two yep that's what this card here represents choosing between two all right good luck let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh this week sagittarius we have uh the five of cups clarified by justice we have uh the nine of swords clarified by the six of cups we also have the nine of ones and uh, the page of cups on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with the libra pretty much any zodiac sign what you're not expecting is an apology all right it is an apology um it could be another x <laughs> for some of you <laughs> it doesn't feel the same like the person we saw in the x spread no it does not it feels completely different it doesn't have to be about love it could be a friend it could be somebody you used to work with a sibling somebody you had a fallout with Right, but it's definitely an apology. You know, we have um, Venus going retrograde on the 22nd, right? And there, there is usually a pre-shadow period. Perhaps uh, this person is very sensitive and they're feeling it. Perhaps Venus is in their chart somehow. You know, um, you know, this person is very sorry. That's what I'm trying to say. And uh, perhaps. Uh, they're already feeling the uh, Venus retrograde coming towards them. <laughs> All right, and uh, they're just getting a head start. But do expect an apology. I clarified the first two cards that came out, hoping to see a court card, because I believe you are the person in the nine of ones right next to the deck. But uh, yeah, justice could be a Libra you're dealing with. But justice is also a card of a major, major apology. The page of cups on the bottom of the deck is that original apology that I was referring to. Um, yeah, they they're they're not taking it very well, Sagittarius, right? The six of cups in the middle, clarifying the nine of swords, is a card of somebody from the past. It's also a soulmate card. But it, uh, I don't know if. If you're gonna take them back though, or you may say thanks for the apology, but I'm good, you know, whatever the nature of this connection is. The 901's right next to the deck, like I said, I think that's you. It is not a card of a rejection, but it is a card of somebody who is uh, very crush cautious in this case. This is you not opening up. This is you thinking to yourself, you know what, perhaps it's not a good idea for me to establish this connection again whatever the nature of this connection is but do expect a major apology all right Sagittarius so yep that's what I have for you for this reading for this week if this video resonates with you please like it please also share and subscribe and uh, other than that Sagittarius have an amazing week